Her room starts right next to Yumi's nightstand, but that is another bedroom. First, she has a laundry basket that my grandmother gave me, and it's just a jewelry box, and I just stuck a bunch of handkerchiefs and pieces of fat. Next to the laundry basket is her makeup stand. The table itself is just a regular chocolate box. On her nightstand, there is just various pieces of makeup from Kitsuke Case Tutorial. So we have little eyeshadow palettes, lip gloss, stuff like that, and there is more inside the box. These little bottles I got from a mini doll when I was little, and I just use it as little creams. These three perfumes are actual perfumes and they have some perfume inside and they were given to me by my grandmother. The doll size toothpaste I got from the an airplane ride and I think it was just perfect for my dolls and I use it as a hand cream. Here is just a little jewelry box that my friend gave me and it's really pretty. It has the little rhinestones and inside there is just random things like a broken piece of the necklace and beads. So that's what's in this little jewelry box. Right next to her makeup table, there are some of her bags. So we have the bag that came with her. And a bag I made from the American Girl craft kit. And it just has a little angel clip on stick on it. And here is also her Olympic medal that also came with her. On there also there is a black knitted scarf. Here is her bag. I made using my Froggy Stuffs tutorial. And I just decided to use it for Nancy rather than for my American Girl dolls. We just have a few blankets. So, this one is just a piece of fabric. And this one is one I actually sewed for the first time with a sewing machine just to make it nicer. So that's the blanket set on top. Right here on the corner of her bed, there are two of her little... So we have Hello Kitty, which is just a keychain, and a mice, which is also a keychain. On the other side, she has even more little toys. So she has this little um, animal, which I got on one of my suitcases when I was really little. This little mice, which I just don't remember where I got, but I just remember having it for a very long time. And this raccoon I actually made, and I just saw a bigger version of it, and just like made a pattern for my dolls, and just sewed it, sewed it in class, because we were making some for an orphanage in class, so I just decided to make small ones for my dolls at home, and I think it turned out pretty cute. Behind it were also two pillows, which were actually my very first pillows, and I made them, made them from my Froggy Stuff tutorial. Here is her nightstand. Next to her nightstand is a little pin doll and a little Easter basket that I got from um, Doll Diaries. And inside are a few postcards and letters from the American Doll Craft Kit as well as a pencil. Underneath her nightstand is just a crocheted rug that my mother or aunt made. Her nightstand is actually just a box, and I just covered it with some fabric, and I'm going to show you what's inside the box. Here is her wallet that I made from a tutorial on YouTube, and inside there are some cards 
Some are printed from Doll Diary, some are made by me, and some from the American Girl Craft Kit. Inside her nightstand, there is also her iPad, and on her iPad, there is a smart cover. So, this is her iPad. It's her Doll Diaries Camp um, sign up sheet, as well as a paper computer that I made from, for her, out of paper. Then she also has a few of these little puzzle pieces, because she likes to make puzzles. Inside there is also two My Foggy Stuffs board games. On her nightstand there are various pieces of we have the checkerboard from the American Girl um, craft kit, which I use as a little table runner or desk decoration. There's also a piece of lace that I use to just cover the bottom of these and just make it look prettier. But here is Nightmare's gift card that I made for my dolls. Right here are two little rocks that I got from the board. Also a little box that I got for my birthday, and inside is a little necklace, which I also got for my birthday. Behind the little box is actually a Twilight book that I made using Kids in the Place tutorial on YouTube. Underneath the Twilight book was an American Girl Skin and Nails book, which I made from the, their American Girl craft kit. The last book on her nightstand is the Mod Doll magazine by Liberty Jane that I printed off their website, and I think it's really nice. The last thing on her nightstand is her phone which I made using paper and craft foam and I got the idea from AG Pals and the duck is a mp3 player little duck that my father gave to me. Now I will show you what's on Nancy's wall. Here is a little garland of beads and they were actually little necklaces, but I use it as little garlands to put on her. First, there is a little poster of two kitties in Paris, and it's a postcard I got in Paris. Here is a window I made with a picture from a magazine, and the idea came from my fraud stuff. Over there is just a sage poster that I printed off the- Here is a little owl clock and I made it using pictures I printed off the internet and downsized and made a little owl clock. Here is a little poster and it has a little cube face and it says I heart music and I made this with a picture I printed off the internet and some stickers and I think it looks really cute. And here is a little calendar. And it has this little September because this is one of my favorite sites. And I got this from the American Girl Craft Kit. There's also a cute little design that says jeans because it came in a pair of jeans. And I thought the tag was cute so I kept it and it has little squiggly lines. Here is a poster that I made for Valentine's Day a long time ago and it says I heart you. And I just stuck it on her wall to add a little cute touch. The last picture on the wall is this little abstract art that I made at school. There is a mirror that I customized and it's just a pocket mirror and yeah, there's her mirror. Right here is a little poster that says a bunch of little cute things like you, ribbons, girl, sweetheart, and stuff like that and I thought it would add a cute touch. Then we have a little poster that says the 70s because Nancy loves the 70s. There is a little rose and I got this from a tag 
on one of my shirts and I thought it looked cute and it was pink so I added on her room. And lastly is Nancy's poster with a big flower and some pictures of her that I took in a photo shoot and I just made a collage. Right here. here is an owl clock and I made using printables but like la, 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 la. lastly on her nightstand there is her phone and I home so her phone is made out of craft foam and other stuff and I got the idea from the little toothpaste I got from the airplane and I think it's dulcet it looks bad. Here are her toys. This is a little mini Hello Kitty keychain. And I think it's really cute. And she also has a little um, mice. And I think it's really cute too. And it's a little angel. <laughs>